let's talk a little bit about the accelerating trends towards digital transformation. Uh, maybe I, I've heard you talk about the, kind of the convergence of physical and, and virtual. Yep, uh, digital transformation is a really broad term. The basic idea is there's a move from the traditional analog and manual to a world where things are digital and automated. You know, examples of applications that are pretty advanced on that transition, e-commerce, uh, gaming, social media. Uh, I think of things a little earlier in the transition, maybe payments, FinTech in general, learning, uh, healthcare. But across all of them, Corning is playing a really big role to fuel digital transformation. Uh, think about the proliferation of displays and touch screens that rely on our glass. Think about how fast network connections enabled by highly reliable fiber rich networks that are built on our passive optical solutions make a difference. Think about advanced semiconductors, which are increasingly fabricated using EUV that's enabled by our fused silica. And of course, there's Gorilla Glass and the components we make for the smart devices themselves. Um, I think that it's a big trend for us. As the world continues to pull for digital and automated, it naturally wants more advanced smart devices, quicker connections, and that in turn drives bandwidth and demand for our products, so all good things. And at the same time, uh, you see innovations happening in, in mixed reality, uh, virtual reality, augmented reality devices, and we're working with a number of players in the ecosystem to innovate around uh, not only the connections that you need to make them effective and user friendly, but also the basic capabilities of the devices. Okay, great. Maybe we could dig down a little into the optical communications takes uh, for, for this for Corning. Yeah, for optical communications overall, I think it's useful to set up a long-term vision. And our long-term vision is that ultimately we'll have effectively unlimited bandwidth and ubiquitous connectivity. How do we get there? Well, I think there are a lot of components and products and services along the way, but most of them rely on the capabilities where we're really good, optical physics, glass science, the manufacturing capabilities that provide the processes necessary to deliver the required components. So it's a big deal for us to work closely with innovators in the area um, and various stakeholders from municipalities to national governments to identify bottlenecks, to identify where our capabilities bring to benefit, and then focus our resources there. Right now, when we ask the questions, it's really about looking at applications that are either almost ready to go or have just crossed the transition, where what we call the E to O divide, uh, where you kind of reach a bandwidth intensity around 100 gigabit meters per second. Um, and then finding the right partners to be catalyzing customers in those areas. For now, we think those are in 5G, fiber to the home, and hyperscale data centers.